Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please do what feels right for you. If something's not feeling good, you might skip it or change it or add your own things or whatever you need to do to care for yourself. Let's begin sitting. If you have something you want to sit up on, you might grab a blanket or cushion. Come into a comfortable cross-leg position. Either close your eyes or take a soft gaze. And begin to slow down your breath. Keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you. Let's take the right arm up. We'll bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow. Take it back. And as you do this, you might twist or curve or arch or explore in any way, feeling what it's like to be in your body in this shape, in this moment. Release, right arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in as close as you can. As you do, draw back through your right shoulder so you're still square across your chest. arm out, thumb points down, wrap it around. So back of your hand is at your waist, interlace fingers at your waist. Pull your knuckles around towards the front. Elbows go towards one another. And then circle your right shoulder. Just putting a little movement in a place that may be creaky or tight here. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back, open up the chest. And then fold any amount, so that could be just dropping your head, it could be coming part way or all the way to the floor. And then release, come up hands to knees, round back, lean away from your hands on your knees, drop your chin. Roll your way back up. Let's recross the leg so the other leg is in front or on top. We'll take the left arm up, bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow, take it back. Release, arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in close. And as you do so, draw back through your left shoulder. Hmm. Release, arm out, thumb points down. Wrap it around. This time when you interlace your fingers, try the other thumb on top. Knuckles towards the front. Elbows towards one another. Circle your left shoulder. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back. Open up the chest. And then fold any amount.
release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Roll your way back up. Let's bring soles of the feet together. And grab your toes or ankles with that grip, lengthen and fold and maybe push into the knees to help the knees open a little bit more or if it works better you can also lean into hands in front or behind or come down to a block or your elbows. body back up. We'll keep the right leg more or less where it is. Open the left leg out to the side. And then right arm up and over for gate pose, parigasana, good side stretch. Let your head fall towards the floor, and then take the right arm out and down until your right shoulder drops down, stretching right side of the neck. Head falling one way, shoulder dropping the other way. Let's press into the bottom hand to come up. Use that hand to lift your head. And then switch the legs. <sighs> Left arm up and over. Big reach out like a yawn. And then let your head fall towards the floor. Take the top arm out. And down until your shoulder drops down. Press into the bottom hand to come up. Use that hand to lift your head. And let's open both legs wide. Feet and knees point straight up. You can use your hands on the floor behind you or lean forward. What we're looking for is our own edge. So you might find it upright, you might find it folding. Breath by breath, assess. Bring the upper body back up, lean back, draw the legs in, shake out. Let's cross the right leg over the left for Gomukhasana, cow face pose. We're trying to get knee on top of knee. You can kind of scooch your ankles out to the side. If this is too tight, feel free to sit up on something or you might straighten the bottom leg or both. And in trying to get that right hip a little more grounded, we're going to bring the left elbow across, right hand into a fist, press down, grounding through the legs, and using this for leverage for a little bit of a twist. Make sure you're lengthening as you rotate, breath by breath, more length, maybe a little deeper twist, more grounding. Last breath here. Hmm, let's release, keep the legs as they are. 
bring the right elbow on top of the left for eagle arms. Put some pressure between the elbows to spread the upper back. Spread the rib cage. Hmm. And then release. Let's lean back, unwind, and switch the legs. Left leg on top, knee on top of knee. Make whatever adjustments, accommodations you might need. Try and get that left hip grounded. We'll bring the right elbow across, left hand into a fist, pressing down, grounding. Each breath lengthen and twist. back to the front, left elbow on top of right, pressure between the elbows. Hmm. Release, unwind, and take a little windshield wiper side to side, let the knees Flop one way and the other. As you're on one hip, you might rub that hip into the floor. Now, next time the knees are to the right, stay there and then reach the left arm on a high diagonal. Just up and back. Come around to the other side, knees flop to the left, reach the right arm on a high diagonal. Come back around, knees flop to the other side, left arm straight across. Shoulder height, deep twist. Release, come around the other way. Shoulder height. Come back around, knees to the right, left arm low diagonal, and you might even Come down onto your forearms. <sighs> Come all the way around, knees to the left, right arm on a low diagonal, and you might come down to your forearms. <sighs> back up and let's come on to our backs. You can bring your knees in. Take a circle or rock with your knees. Feeling what's touching the floor. A little massage for the lower back, the sacrum. Drop your feet to the floor. Setting up for bridge, feet hip width apart, parallel. Lift the hips high. Interlace your fingers behind your back, shrug your shoulders under you. Hips as high as you can. Take 
your arms out of your way. Roll down and rest. Let's grab the soles of the feet on the inside for happy baby. Press your knees towards the floor. You can keep your legs bent or straighten them. Check in with your body to see what might be needed to wrap up this practice. If there is any last pose or stretch or movement that you'd like, you can take some time feeling what you are doing. Nothing else is needed. You can spread out, come into a symmetrical, relaxed position. A few moments of just letting the body release fully, including the control of your breath, all of the doing. Bring a little movement back. Move your wrists and ankles. Stretch out through your arms and legs. Mm. 
Bring your knees in. Roll to one side. And make your way up to sitting. And get comfortable in a seated position, which might mean grabbing a cushion or a block or bolster to sit up on. And if sitting is not comfortable, you can be in any position that is. And let's take a little meditation. And if my words don't serve you, you can tune them out and just feel what you're feeling. Bring your attention where it's useful for you. possible, feel the length of your spine. And the inhale, bringing energy from the base all the way up past the top of your head. Imagine breathing in negativity, letting it transform, and breathing out positivity. Breathing in fear, breathing out trust. Breathing in despair. Breathing out hope. Breathing in loneliness. Breathing out belonging. Breathing in meanness, breathing out kindness. Breathing in pain, breathing out peace.
breathing in stuckness. And breathing out inspiration. Breathing in protection. And breathing out vulnerability. Breathing in deceit. Breathing out authenticity. Breathing in whatever is not serving. And breathing out love. And bring your hands together at your heart. In your way, praying, wishing, intending that these intentions be amplified through you. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Please share this with anyone who may benefit from it.